Hello friends. How are you? It's me, Friendly Neighborhood Unpacking Streamer. <laughs> I've got my cup of tea here. Today's tea advent calendar was pomegranate heart something. I don't know. It has like pomegranates and apples in it. And it's really delicious, so much so that I actually finished it, or almost finished it rather, before I even started. So we're gonna do some more unpacking today. Uh, see what happens now that we had to hide our diploma under the, the bed after moving in with our significant other. Two thousand twelve. Oh fuck. Did we move back into our childhood bedroom? Oh, I think we did. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we still have our D20. What rooms do we have? Just the bathroom and the bedroom. Okay. Our mini. More books. Still got a picture of what looks like Venice. Rex, hi friend, hello. How are ya? We are playing Unpacking today, which is a game about, well, unpacking things. What's my sketchbook? Oh. Let's see, can I move this stuff? I can. I wonder if my pig... Oh, I wonder if my pig is no more. Oh my god, what a... What a real thing, the Royal Dansk thing that's your sewing box. Not bad, slow day at the desk. Yeah, I am doing well, thank you for asking. You know, it's just been kind of a, kind of a slower day for me to work wise, which is kind of neat. Oh, I've got my dumbbells. All right, let's see, can we get in here? Oh, what's this? Little, a little caboodle. All right. Another book. Oh, my D and D books. Let's try. Oh no! I want to put him there. Let's see if I can put my mini up here. Here we go. And we've got a tiny little book. Huh. Do I have my diploma hidden under the bed? I don't know yet, actually. It seems like... It seems like we moved out of the significant other's house. Oh, that is a tilt, tilted thing. Okay. Um. No, I don't have my diploma hidden under the bed in real life, but it is kind of hidden. Got a lot of art supplies here. Okay, all right, art supplies. We can work with art supplies. Um, here we are. Let's actually put the insect up here. Yeah. Got another, got a little bag. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel that too. It was really upsetting to, to see that. I wonder... Hmm. Okay. Let's 
probably gonna yell at me for having my file organizer somewhere under here, but... Oh, this is rough because, like, I don't have room for all of the things that I have picked up in my old life. Oh, I have... So this was mine, huh? This little, like, incense burner thing? Interesting. Hmm. Okay, got more of the little chickens. Hot water bottle, put that under the bed. Oh, my, my like little scrapbook thingamabob. We can put that there. I have another chick. Where am I gonna put them? Oh, geez, hold on. I think everything here was exactly how I left it. Oh! Oh, sweet. I got a, an achievement for rediscovering childhood. That's fun. Alright. Guitar book slash ukulele book. Notebook. Eraser. Pencil cup. Sketchbook. I'm gonna put these. Well, no, can't do that. Okay. Oh, I have like a little drawing of my piggy. I think the pig doesn't exist anymore, which is kind of sad actually. These just look like game cartridges. yoga mat. Still have that. There's my pig. Definitely old now. Oh, hey, my diploma. Cool. Well, looks like we're gonna be doing a lot of reorganizing in this level. I'm glad to see that the piggy survived the breakup. That makes me happy. I don't know what this bowl is, but... I don't really need those right there. Mm. Let's see, can we put these dumbbells on the back of this thing? Yeah, there we are. The dragon is pretty cool. We put the laptop there. Can we put you? No, this is gonna have to go under the desk, I think. I think. Unless. Okay, that works. That works too. Reminds you of your angry T-Rex plushie. Nice. Um, well, Game Boy games can go there. My little caboodle can go there. Things are getting a little crowded, but it's okay. There we go. Put our little chick there. Drawing tablet. Um, this can probably go under the bed for now. Ukulele can go here. All right, okay. We're making it work. 
Piggy is pretty beat up, yeah. Oh, looks like this bathroom, I don't know if this was a childhood bathroom or what, but maybe it got a makeover. Oh, my cup. Still broken, but that's okay. Toothpaste. My little perfume. Huh, interesting. Didn't go back to the regular perfume that I had after the breakup, it looks like. Whoop. Oh, whoops. That's why I can't open that. Hold on. Because there's a trash can down there. Awesome. I don't think I ever had tweezers before. Interesting. Redeemed stretch. Thank you. Mm, this is good. Yay. What do we have here? Oh, it's like on a, one of those heating pad things. I know that. All right. So hold on a second. We don't have a toilet in here. Where am I gonna put the tampons? <laughs> Look, if there's one thing I've learned from this game, it's that tampons go on top of the toilet. <laughs> Okay, I didn't learn that from this game, to be fair, but... But if there was one thing that I had learned from this game, it would be that tampons go on top of the toilet. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, it looks like another little perfume. Okay, cool. Pills. I think these must be, like, vitamins, right? They have to be something like that. Something is wrong in the bedroom. Something's amiss in the bedroom. All right, let's see how high we can stack these books. It's too bad that you can't put like the chicken on top of something. Uh, that's still wrong? Where is that supposed to be then? Huh. Maybe I have space in a cabinet for it. I think I do. Here we go. still something wrong in the bedroom. Oh. It's this picture. Oh, it's probably the picture of me and the ex. Can I put it in the toilet? There is no toilet. Can I put it in the trash? Nope. Not an option. Can't put it in the shower. Oh, what if I have to put it out of sight? <gasps> oh my god, my heart got so broken. This needs to be put out of sight. There it is. Wow. Dang, I wonder what happened. Clearly this didn't end well, but still. All right, let's see what's happening next. Hmm. This room used to feel bigger. Oh. Let's watch the, uh, let's watch the time lapse. I love this feature of the game. It's so cool. Just being able to like rewatch quickly what you did previously.
That's a good point. If your partner made you hide your accomplishment, it may not have ended well, but it ended exactly as it should have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Watch me, like, trying to put the picture in the toilet. That doesn't exist. I know, I love the sounds that this makes, Rex. It just gives me, like, happy ear feelings. 2013. Okay. So where are we now? The Eiffel Tower. Pisa. Books. Books, 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 books. The little bus. We'll probably decorate with those. Oh, windmill. Looks like we went somewhere new. Okay, that's cool. All right, we're gonna do the thing that I like to do, which is where we put all of the boxes of the same size, or the books of the same size together, because that's important. Okay. Oh, we have like a Wii now, I guess? Oh my God, this is taking me back. Thank God we at least learned like how to pack our games all in the same box. Like, yes, it's a puzzle game. I understand that bit of it, but it's also like, dude, you gotta pack your games different. You, you just have to. Okay, all right, okay. Oh, a Hamza. Yeah, well, we are Jewish. That's cool. I'm gonna put that over the door. I have one of those in my kitchen, actually. It's my ukulele! I wish I could hang it on the wall. Like, if I had a wall hanging thing for the uke, that would be awesome. Well, let's put it up there, then. Oh, I have a stand! Perfection. Can I fit you on the shelf? No, I can't. Well, let's put you in a pride of place right now. A ukulele book, music book, another game. Oh, my D20. Awesome. Oh, I finally got around to painting my mini. Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh, my sketchbook. My little baby sketchbook that stayed with me like this whole game. I'm getting a little emotional about that. Also, this is kind of how not to load a bookcase. You always want to load it from the bottom up. So this is kind of messing with me. TV remote, cool. Oh, my memory book. Okay, that's really sweet. A garbage can, I think. Oh no, it's an umbrella umbrella holder. Let's put that by the door. A walking stick. Ah, uh, ukulele, you're probably gonna not go here because of the lamp. Dragon! Can I put dragon on a beanbag? I don't know. Berg. Chicken! Oh, it's got an egg! All the little chicks that I've, like, collected over the years, this just makes me so happy. Here it is. I was like, the game system's gotta be in here somewhere, right? Alright, well, that being out of the way makes me happy, so that's what we're gonna do. Hey, Beth, how are you? I'm doing well today, thank you for asking. We got a little, a little speaker, huh? Okay. Yes, the D&D &D books! 
They live again! Oh, and my little, my little Game Boy, or 3DS rather. Cute, I have more games for the 3DS now. Let's see. Hmm. All right, well, I kind of want to put these guys where people can see them. Put this up here for now. Here we go. What if I put the uke up there? Yay! It does not look good. I think so, anyway. There we go. Now we can see everything a little better. Okay, um, this is gonna probably go in the bedroom. Oh, still a double bed. Did anyone else? Mm, doesn't look like anyone else lives here. <laughs> My favorite, hence the stream title, more underwear. Oh boy. Here we go again. Oh, cool. I have a new, new sketchbook. A shirt. These might be pajamas. Hot water bottle. Let's put the pajamas under the pillow. Frog. Oh yes, we love one frog. Cool. Hangers. My little caboodle. Whoops, come back. I don't know if you can stack underwear in this, so that might end up being what I need to do. Probably you can't stack underwear. Looks like I have a lot of new clothes that I didn't before, too. That's kind of neat. Okay. We're gonna put underwear in the bottom because I don't think you can stack it. Yeah, that's not an option. So that's what we'll do for that. Whoop. Oh, God. They are not still with the SO. They have moved back in with the parents into the childhood bedroom, it seems. Or at least I assume it's with the parents. Alarm clock, that'd be important. There we go. My little Walkman. Oh, that's cute. Little family picture. I love that. Oh, cute. That's a little like tea light thingy. Oh, I have one of these. It's like a little wax melter type thing. Well, that'll be cool. We could just put a bunch of little wax melters in our house. This is like the real deal of unpacking though. Moving your, moving your shit around until you find something that works. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Rex. Shoes. Yes, I still have the D&D shirt. I don't think I work at Starbucks anymore, though. More underwear! <laughs> the moral of the story is, when in doubt, always unpack the underwear. Here we go. Oh. We 
we got some funky tie-dye underwear up in here. That's cool. Ooh, fancy dress. That's nice. Yoga mat goes under the bed, as it always has. Bra. Here we go. Yay, we still have Piggy. Piggy got a little bit patched up. That's nice. Ooh, we have a fancy shirt. Fancy top. Yeah, let's put the skirt there so the jeans can go together. Yay! Awesome. All right, let's get the shoes situated. I guess we don't work at the, you know, whatever the Starbucks clone is anymore. These probably are gonna go in the office room if I had to, if I had to guess. I would think, let's see. Oh, ooh, kind of a studio looking thing. So we can open this already. Oh, we got a tiny little cactus. This looks like burning wheel. Did I become a TTRPG designer? Cause that would really be an Anna life sim. Okay, got a lot of the figure drawing stuff. A lot of the same drawing books. Let's go grab my sketchbook. And let's go get the caboodle cause that's not really a bedroom thing. I have a whale. I think that might get one of these little tea lights. Nope. Oh well, we have a little light in our office now, it's fine. Oh, hello there. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Nice romantic dinner for whales. Ooh, groovy little lava lamp. Oh, I have <laughs> a printer. God, the true sign of adulthood, having your printer. Actually, why don't we make that go there? Is this a laptop or is this a drawing tablet? A little unclear. <laughs> Yes, the random nest of cables that just always seems to grow and never quite finishes. What is this? Oh, printer paper, probably. We can put that in here. Bye. Yep, my little calendar thing. Wi-Fi. Oh, cool, the clock even ticks. How neat. There's my laptop. And my drawing pad. And more of my old books. Ooh, we leveled up our pencil holder. Let's see, can I put this? Yeah, I'm gonna put that there. The caboodle's gonna go in there. Well, maybe the caboodle's not gonna go in there. all pretty. Eraser. Oh, I have a piggy drawing. I added color to it. Oh, cute. Maybe I'm like a, a comic book writer or like a children's book illustrator now. That's neat. All my sketchbooks. God, this really just is the Anna Life Simulator, isn't it? Like, all of these friggin' notebooks and sketchbooks everywhere you move, very much me. 
Also the asymmetrical picture frame design, very much me. You know, maybe this would look nice in my bedroom. Can I hang stuff on the wall in here? I, well, not really. Can I hang stuff on the wall in here? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Let's do that. I'll take Dragon to my bedroom. Oh God, why is unpacking the kitchen always the worst? Let's let Dragon and Piggy talk to each other. Oh, rhythmic gymnastics. Uh, let's put that up here. And a cat. And oh, it's the D&D guys. My heart. Well, that's definitely going in my office. Oh, my diploma hung up as it should be. File folder thingy, whatever that's called. I still don't know like what the real name is for that, which cracks me up because I feel like I used to know the answer to that, but I don't anymore. All right, headphones, another sketchbook. Wow, accumulating, oh, both of the diaries I still have. So I wonder if like some of those other things were in storage maybe? How about I go here and bring, maybe I bring the chicks with me. <laughs> you worked at Office Depot and you don't remember the name of the file folder thingy either. It's just one of those things where it's like you know it when you see it and that's really all you need. be a lot of clicking back and forth but I want to put these chicks in my office get a little bit of cute decor I wish you could like pick them up as a group but maybe they're super just priceless and breakable and that's why you can't. Cause I definitely know when I've been moving, I've been like, I can totally lift this thing by myself and I can't totally lift this thing by myself or I can, it just ends pretty disastrously either for me or for the thing in question. Look at that, isn't that adorable? All my little chickens in line. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that. I have a, an easel, <laughs> a little Newton's cradle. Also cute. Ooh, little organizational box perhaps. Hi, Tamir, how are you? We're just playing some unpacking little oh whatever that thing is it's like the thing you use for your hands so you don't get oh uh, you have a blanket i feel like that blanket should go in the living room and there we go it's up there boom got him yeah, running out of steam halfway up the stairs is a is a real thing. <laughs> All right, kitchen. Oh, oh, this kitchen is gross. One of my first apartments, though, the kitchen was just disgusting. Like when I moved in, I actually had to spend quite some time deep cleaning it. Had an appointment today. Need to go back on antidepressants and find a therapist. Oh, well, good luck to you. That's really important. Proud of you for taking those steps to take good care of yourself. I have been doing pretty well, actually. Um, just taking a short break from work today to do some 
some video games, which is a lot of fun. Silverware. Ooh, a measuring cup. I got really excited about that. I don't know why, but like kitchen stuff is exciting. I think that just means that you're in your 30s. <laughs> when kitchen things become exciting, that's how you know you're in your 30s. <laughs> Coffee grinder. Cute. Yes, we, we support taking good steps for your own mental health in this house and by this house i mean this twitch stream need to add you a commander jack Ooh, cool oh i have like um coasters i have a lot of coasters the coasters actually i should take those to the living room there we go all right we'll play uh we'll play kitchen supplies tetris in a moment uh, par ooh, parchment paper. I guess I got into baking. Hey, there are worse ways to deal with a breakup. Got my... Can I put stuff on top of the fridge? Oh, yes. Alright, let's see. We'll put my cooking things that I probably am likely to use up here. Oh, I got a new mug! Oh, I hope that doesn't mean the old one completely died. That'd be a little sad. There's another coaster. Hey, check this out. We have a Hamza up here above the door. And then when we moved back into the uh, childhood bedroom, there was a little dreidel in the cabinet, which I thought was very timely, considering. It's like not really often that I see Jewish characters in games, especially indie games. I think the last time that happened was when I was playing The Last of Us Part 2. I think. Because Dean is Jewish in that. But Neil Druckmann's also Jewish, so that makes sense. Oh, look at all me pots and pans. Ah, yes. The best part of moving. The cookie jar! It's still there! Yes! Oh, that makes me so happy. Hey, look, Ryan, we're putting our towels over the the stove, creating a fire hazard, as is the custom. <laughs> oh, looks like I got to keep some of the cool uh, magnets from the breakup after all. Got all your new measuring cups and metric, and suddenly I know how many things are in the bigger thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> I honestly do not, for the life of me, understand why the United States does not switch over to the metric system already. Oh, interesting. I have equal signs? Hmm. Another cup. Oh. You'll make a nice little pattern there. I know that when my mom was a kid, uh, they were gonna switch over to the metric system and then never actually did. So they spent all this time studying and learning as kids to get ready for the big switch to the metric system because it's coming and it never happened. Which sounds incredibly frustrating, especially because if you're a kid and you're getting graded on this stuff for school, one equals three. We're breaking the universe. Oh, hold on. Let's try one, nope, plus two. Maybe I have to do it vertically. Let's try that. One plus two equals. Ooh. Can I do that horizontally? Plus two. Ah. No. Ah, I can't see it. Two plus. Hey, nice. Oh, I got an achievement. Sweet. Too caught up in being stubborn. You're right. I know that's exactly the reason why the U.S. hasn't switched to the metric system. It's because... 
Our government is a shit show, and given that this is what was happening with my mom's generation, it seems that not much has changed. Hey, Kurt. We are... <laughs> you missed... <laughs> you missed me unpacking <laughs> this character's underwear drawer. Um, but yeah, we're playing Unpacking. It's a little puzzle kind of tetris -y game about unpacking. And it's making us all catch some feels. You know what, Crockpot? You go up on the fridge. As the Lord intended. <laughs> I have vastly fewer dishes, but that's okay. Just two, it looks like. Colander. Cool. Actually, Colander, you can go... Oh, you can't live on top of the fridge? What nonsense. I could totally fit that there. If this was real life, I could totally fit that there. Ooh, a baking sheet. Like I said, kind of cool that I got into baking, is it not? But yeah, we're always having to uh, unpack a ton of underwear in this game. And for some reason, it's like one of the more satisfying of the tetris -y puzzles that we have to solve. Kind of love it. Okay, my hot water heater thingy. Can I put you up here? Yes. Oh, I have a microwave. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, that's not actually an oh, crap. It's just, oh, wow, this takes up more space than I had anticipated. Um, okay, because I'm me, we're gonna have to put this microwave down here where you can actually use it. There we are. Okay, cookie jar, egg timer, now all this paraphernalia is gonna go up here. I'll put my bag of coffee right there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, spoon. Soap, very important. Dish soap, also very important. So yeah, our, our last thing that we did, Kurt, was, whoops, we unpacked into our childhood bedroom because it appears that we moved home after a breakup of a relationship where the, the significant other really just seemed to be a piece of shit. Simple as that, really. Sometimes it, sometimes it is as simple as that. Sometimes the significant other really is just a piece of shit. Oh god, now I have a toaster. But where am I gonna put the cookie jar? Over here, I guess. Can I fit the egg timer there? Yes! Oh my gosh! Look, it's the Hanukia! Yes! Okay, I know where this needs to go. It needs to go by the front door where everyone can see it. Oh my goodness, this is making me so happy. The candles. Okay, so I've just come to the realization, right? Like tonight's the fifth night of Hanukkah. It needs to go on the nightstand next to the bed. You're absolutely right. But yeah, it's the fifth night here, or it will be when the sun goes down. And I have come to the conclusion that we are the bravest because our holidays and important things pretty much just revolve around allowing small children to handle fire hazards. <laughs> it's like, hey kids, you want to know the most important thing about being Jewish? Here's some fire. Hope you know what to do with it. It cracks me up. Okay. The baking sheet. Okay, trial by fire does have a new meaning. Dun dun dun. Okay, so the bathroom. Oh, I have a clawfoot bathtub. Oh my god. Anna in real life would kill for this bathroom. It has a bathtub and a shower. It's not like the childhood bedroom, which didn't even have a toilet, which that's really weird to me, because if you have a childhood bathroom, don't you think it's more important for the kid to have easier access to a toilet than a shower? Because, like, when kids need to go to the bathroom, they need to go now. If not, like, five minutes ago. Oh, gosh. Lighting candles on the Christmas tree? That 
that's some that's some next tier bravery, honestly. I kind of love this little apartment. It's a little rundown. It's a little worn, sure, but ain't we all? No, just joking. But but no, seriously. Sometimes ain't we all? All right, here we go. Here are my vitamins. I put them in here. Gonna put my razor in here. Okay, and as I have mentioned before, as we have learned from this game, there's my toothbrush cup. As we have learned from this game, we put our pads and our tampons on the toilet tank. Yes, they tried to kill us, they failed, let's eat. Oh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> oh look, it's my heating pad thing. Absolutely essential, we all need that. Listen, I got a heating pad recently that's an electric one. Oh, I have more pills, cool. I, I got a heating pad recently that is an electric one. And honestly, I don't think I can live without it anymore. It's just too perfect. Oh, I can't, wait. You telling me I can't make these band-aids be Vertical or horizontal. That makes no friggin' sense. Okay, fine. My nail clippers. My tweezers. My, oh. Okay, what do y'all call this? This little thing that you use to wash yourself with in the shower. This thing right here that my cursor's pointing at. Cause I call it a scrubby. A loofah. Interesting. Okay, so I've definitely heard people call it that, but I have always called it a scrubby, and I don't know why. I feel like that might be something from childhood that, like, I never really thought about too much. Here's some hand soap. Toilet paper. Flush, flush, flush. Oh, she loves your heating pad and steals it. Good girl. She knows what she's about. <laughs> oh, more toilet paper. We'll let that go on top of the tank. We're going to make an everlasting step of toilet paper. Oh, a scale, but like an old school one. No! There we go. I was like, however will we keep our pads and tampons on the toilet tank if we can't... <clears throat> Okay, cleaner. Mouthwash. Lovely. Uh, shampoo, lotion. Oh, a little trash can. Cute. I feel like that should go near the toilet. I feel like that's where it belongs. If it came <laughs> to a fight between Nymeria and Nim for the heating pad when he's on Nim, listen. It wouldn't come to a fight because I love to snuggle on cats so much. So I'd just be like, you, me, we're calling a truce. We're calling a truce here. Oh, this blanket can't go here. Well, it let me do that before. Maybe it just needs to go on the bed. Nope. Uh, okay. Maybe the closet. Here we go. I guess I'm like more tidy now than I used to be. What is this? My caboot my caboodle can't go there, huh? Okay. Well up. Okay, I guess it can go here, but it couldn't go the other location. Let's put you there. I'm gonna take you and put you in the living room with the rest of the tiny books. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of rearrangement here. We're gonna use these things as bookends. Cause we can. Whoops. Mm -mm. Yeah, I like that. That's all right. 
What's in the wrong place in the kitchen? The egg timer. Hmm. You don't want to be on the stove either, huh? All right, cool. We did it. Ooh, I got a phoenix. Glad I found a place of this nice on my budget. Achievement unlocked, independence. Let's watch our time lapse here. I love the time lapse so much, it's great. Just very satisfying. I haven't seen any kids, no. I was kind of wondering, but I didn't see anything else to indicate that there would be kids. It is unpacking ASMR, you're right. Click, 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 click. I guess if I'd really been thinking about it, I could have put the little candles by the bathtub. Oh well. Guess I'm being a little non-romantic in that sense. <laughs> the process of taking all of the chickens back and forth. Actually, unpacking the kitchen didn't totally suck in this version. Usually the kitchen is a bit irritating. <laughs> Watch me do the, the mathematical magnets. That's going to take some time. Yeah, it does kind of sound like that, Rex. This is remarkably similar to how I actually unpack room by room by room. I don't usually flush the toilet as much as I do in this game though. Usually in this game, it's like flush, flush, flush. Whereas if you did that in real life, that would be really obnoxious. Cool, I did it, awesome. All right, I'm gonna take a very quick bathroom break, but I will be right back and then we will go on and do the next level of this. So make sure you get your drinks and stretches and snacks and whatever it is that you gotta do. And I'll see you in just a second.
have returned holy cow there's 10 people here wow ah! well welcome everybody geez i come back to streaming and there is so many of you ah! amazing all right let's unpack our next thing what do we got here 2015 what it's raining <gasps> Did someone move in with me? What? Oh my god. Did someone move in with me? Okay, here's the best way to know for sure. It sure looks like they did, just saying. Oh my goodness, I am losing my mind right now. This is so good. This is quality content I'm here for. Okay, we're gonna put our little deodorants together. I'm gonna take that out. I was thinking the exact same thing, Rex. An eyelash curler. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Did we just make Lazy Femme High Femme happen? I think we friggin' did. Good night, Tamir. Sleep well. And Hoxamayak to you as well. Well, I have, what is this, like a bronzer or something? Put that in there for now. <laughs> I have a plant here. Oh my god, you guys. I just realized what this means. <gasps> it means I can bring the, oh my goodness. It means that I can bring the candles in here and have it be all romantic and cute and disgustingly adorable. Well, let's see, hold on. Can we move the, yeah, I was like, can we move the Listerine so it's not like right there? Uh, huh, there we go. I am also living for this. This makes me happy beyond oh, double tampon boxes. Da -da -da -da. Oh, we have extra towels now. Uh, hold on. This is so freaking cute. A bath mat. Little tissues. Whoa, hold on.
did I put in the bottom here? Nothing. Okay. Someone moved in with me and I can move the things again. Amazing. Oh, this is beautiful. All right. So real quick. We're gonna go do like a romantic bathtub thing. Well, maybe we're not. Maybe we're gonna keep that in the bedroom because I realized I think I'll maybe prefer that. Oh, they have their own normal nightstand. Ooh, a lamp. Whoever this person is, they have like pretty great taste. And they really like plants. I vibe with this very much. I do indeed. Hmm. Hmm. A little snake plant. Oh, they have a cute little backpack. Oh, well. Let's put... Oh, they've got like a little, little flip book. Oh, we have shared stuffed animals. Yes. Oh, I love this so much. I know, the fact that we still have Piggy is pretty incredible to me, too. Oh, y'all, guess what? It's about to be time for the stream title again. More underwear! Oh, we have doubles now. All right, okay, okay. A little pen. <gasps> oh, a big boy. That's so cute. Ooh, cute little dress. Love a cute little dress. I guess I have my little laptop there. Cool. I am also very much liking their style. More underwear! There it is. We knew it was coming. <laughs> More underwear! Oh, this person looks very cool. Ooh, flirty little bra there. That's nice. Aw, my nightgown. We always put pajamas under under the bed in this. Because I just like that. What does this say? Anti-hero S3. I wonder if that's meant to be a TV show? Or what exactly? Oh, got another little dress. <gasps> another little dress. God, these dresses are so cute. I would wear these dresses. <laughs> She's got a lot of clothes. It's a uh, oh, am I like a like um like an on-call nurse or something? Got walkie-talkies. Am I a spy? Or I guess is my girlfriend a spy? Interesting. Unless that's meant to be like a pager, but it doesn't look like a pager. Got little crop tops. Thank goodness they gave me some more. Oh, cool. I was gonna say, thank goodness they gave me some more uh, hangers. There we go. Little. I guess that's a jewelry box. Headphones. 
ones. I think those are incense sticks. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Well, we'll probably put those somewhere other than the bedroom. Oh, I have cool shoes. Hmm. my slippers under the bed where I can actually reach them. That's what I do with mine, so that's what you're doing with yours, fictional person whose name I don't know. Here we go. Let's see if we can put the plant over here. We can. This feels like a living room thing to me. A little incense burner. Although, yeah, let's put it up here. There we go. I feel like headphones probably don't go in the bedroom, but let's see. Oh, sounds like a Cassie. I love that so much, Rex. That's adorable. All right, we're unpacking more living room stuff. Can I put? put my plants on the bookshelf. Adorable. Oh, it's already starting to look so much better. Put the Hanukkah candles over there so we can have a cute little succulent menorah. Oh my goodness. What's this? Ticket stub to a show or something? Very nice, very nice. That's like a little shadow box. Oh, that's cool. I love shadow boxes. I really like, you know, making them as gifts for people. Are these those kind of painted rocks? What is this? Trophy of some kind, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Let's put you up here. You are a trophy and will be displayed with pride. Ugh, don't you just love it when the books match up the way they should? Because that makes me really friggin' happy. Oh my gosh, it's like... Oh, we even have a little... Oh, come on. Nope. All right, hold on. It's like we even have a little, a little Swedish house here. Oh, we have a little Swedish house. It's very cute. Mm, let's move you over there. I friggin' love these little rocks that we have. Think about movies. Alright, hold on. I want to make you... Oh, they're all video game strategy guides. How cool. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. Oh, a laptop. Why don't we put that in the office? My office is yours. Oh, look how decorated it is. Oh, is that the, is that a drawing of the house that they were in together? Oh my God, our main character has won awards. And this is after they were with somebody that, like, didn't think they could do it. Oh my god. I 
I'm getting legitimately emotional about this. Look at how many more sketchbooks showed up. Wow. Amazing. Oh, we have pillows for the couch now. Ugh, ideal for snuggling. Yes. Okay, got a couple more game cartridges here. I'm gonna add your umbrella. Ooh, pretty. I think this is one of those, like, uh, mer dragons from, if I remember correctly, Singapore? I want to say from Singapore. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put the little rocks there, because those are cute. looks kind of like the handmaid's tale it's interesting to me which ones are very clearly based off of real books exposure what does that say for exposure new friend encouraged them new girlfriend encouraged them to absolutely what do we have here nuclear narwhals okay that's definitely uh like the the unicorn game. What the heck is that game called? Oh, it's a mister for the plants. Oh, a little, little terrarium. How pretty. Anti-hero season two. Oh, and it's like signed by the cast, no less. Well, girlfriend, you can keep that. Oh, we got cute coasters. Hold on. I need to do something disgustingly adorable right now. Because I'm shipping them so hard. One of you is getting this adorable mug. And the other one of you is getting this adorable mug. And then when you sit together, you can be snuggly and smoochy. You'll have to see it. my person's video games. Whoa! Dude, that's awesome. Got like a sea monster head, I guess. A lot more video games. Ooh, a pot. More pots. Oh. Soil, too. This is probably gonna have to go in the kitchen, like. Underneath something. This is beyond adorable. I freaking love this. It is a centerpiece. I'm going to go... Alright. Oh. We worship you! Yes! We do! We definitely do! Okay, we're gonna do something again silly, because we can. I also worship you, Cthulhu! Well, now I want in. Okay, I guess you can do it too. I mean, the more cultists, the merrier, right? Even if your cultists are just little chicken figurines. Hey, we're not little. Just because we're teeny tiny doesn't mean we can't be good cultists. Oh, Cthulhu, we love you so much. Ah. Yeah, 
Yes. Yes. The egg one's going to be left out. The ritual is now complete. Oh, 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 oh. needs to happen. Okay, let's unpack this here kitchen. A-E-I-O-U. Cute. We have little placemats and a napkin rack. Damn, our girlfriend is like, our girlfriend is legit, y'all. All right, let's put the window box. Oh, what did I get? How did that happen? Achievement unlocked green thumb. What, did, what is that for? Oh, I found a place for every plant. Ooh, a fancy dish drying rack. Um, there we go. What is this? Oh, are these the kind of things that you use when you're, yeah, when you're like steaming dumplings? I don't know what the technical name of that is. I'm not sure, Rex. I think this photo is of them together, and this one is the old one of the friends from college. Or uni, as they call it. Because here's my rice cooker. We got an upgraded toaster. Love that. Love that for us. Oh, a new cup. We haven't had a new cup in this house in so long. <laughs> Another one of the... Um, Clearly designed to be kind of a supernatural ripoff. A cheese grater. Lemon juicer. Big thing of. Let's give you a nice romantic dinner, shall we? Oh, we can't. Oh well. Well, that's kind of silly. What's the point of having placemats if you can't. Mm. Oh well. Can I put this stack on top? I cannot, alas. Oh. Well, why don't we take our old dirty dishcloths and put those away and have the nice new matching ones from our nice girlfriend who is also great and we love her. Cassie the girlfriend is what you're called now. A poop emoji, ha 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 ha, cute. soup ladle ice cream scoop yes we love her already mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here you go oh what's that looks kind of like a chips and dips sort of situation? I'm not sure. Ooh, a mortar and pestle. We are fancy now. Oh, toaster's in the wrong place. Now it's fine. That's strange. Let's act like we're cooking. Oh my god, I love this kitchen. Okay, because this is where we found the place for every plant, why don't we snap a picture? Look at how cute. Everything feels a little extra magical. So... I'm gonna give us some hearts. There we go. Which is a fridge. <laughs> Just because we're teeny tiny doesn't mean we can't be good cultists. Listen, I know what I'm about. And I like little cultist chickens. They're adorable. Beautiful. Yes, we'll leave photo mode. What's misplaced in here? Oh, GF's laptop. That probably should go in here. Maybe. Oh, I can't put the cups in there. 
Well, hold on, though. Because this was just too cute for words, and I have to. Even if it is red, I need to snap a picture. Because I just love what- I just love what I've done with the place, you know? We've got, like, chicken cultists. We've got everything going on. It's great. I kind of want it borderless, though, so I can see everything. Should we use a filter? Whoa, that's trippy. Gosh, this really does feel like Instagram early days. You spend like way more time messing around with filters than you actually do using the app. Okay. Fine, I'll take these back to the kitchen. If you insist. They also need to be put away. Oh, come on. You're killing me, Smalls. Back to the, whoop, that was not the kitchen. Back to the kitchen, yay! Oh, look at that. Looking forward to fresh culinary adventures. Achievement unlocked, love. Let's watch our time lapse. Satisfying unpacking ASMR time with Anna. <laughs> Here we go, chicken cultists. see what's next. Two thousand eighteen. Oh boy. Hmm. This looks like a bigger house. <gasps> we have an upstairs and a downstairs and look it's a baby room. Ah! Who was it who asked if we were gonna unpack a nursery cuz uh Looks like we're getting there. Let's give the baby some flowers. Oh boy. Well, this is gonna have me feeling some kind of way. <gasps> the baby gets picky. And the mama's tiger. Oh, we got a sticker for making the piggy and the tiger. Let's see. A, B, C, D. Cute. Pacifier. Always an important thing. This is the more underwear of the game. These baby blocks. 
a little rattle. More blocks. Teethers. So I'm guessing this is like a, probably like a six month old baby. Diaper rash. Wipes. Actually, if this were me, and it's not, but effectively it is, the wipes are gonna go in here. Uh, I think these are the di those like diaper genie trash bags or something. There we go. Can never have too many spit up rags with a baby. Baby got a picture of the pig. Cute. And an ostrich. Oh my god, did we have twins? Stop. Stop it. We did not. Did we have twins? Or do we just have a lot of toys? Aw, little hat. Yeah, I'm guessing this is maybe like a six month old. Bit of brags to get used to a vomit covered shoulder. I mean, to each their own. That's not been my experience. <laughs> More diapers. I wonder if it's intentional that the diaper thing looks like Mario. Oh, little baby book. There's so many little toys. What if we put the books right in reach of Mischief Baby to crawl out of their crib? Oh, Yeah. I wouldn't actually leave that in the crib while the baby was sleeping, but this is a video game. I don't think it's gonna go there. Little balls. More spit-up rags. Oh. gonna say we can put this in there but yeah bun bun's gonna stay here more books for the bebe oh a little uh play seat i don't know what this is actually called but yeah god just like real life you're like ooh. No room for all the baby stuff. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll come back and tidy this up, but oh, so freaking cute. I wonder if he's got the soccer ball just like the mom did. I have friends that, um, you know, same gender couple friends who have like different names that their parents use for their kids. Or, sorry, the kids use for the parents. I think we have twins. I think. I might not have twins, but I think I have twins. Anyway, these friends um, have the different, you know, names that their, their kids call the parents. So, one of them is Mommy and Maddie for two moms. And I really think that Maddie is adorable. That's so cute. Or daddy and papa. Oh, there's another toilet for me to flush obnoxiously. <laughs> oh god, I would die for this bathroom too, jeez. It's so nice. Oh. There's Mama's. Oh, it's her like supernatural mug. There's the eyelash curler, the makeup again. Actually, I wonder if I can stack this. No, I suppose that would be too much to ask.
still see the plant though. There we go. Kids do require gear. It's a little bit like outfitting yourself for your TTRPG stuff. There's my heating pad again. <laughs> That's the realist. Wait, can I open this? Oh no. Oh, we have a bathroom closet that we can't open. <gasps> oh my gosh. There's a laundry room inside this, the unit. Y'all, this is just me being like, yes, I'm playing this game, but I'm very much also in my 30s. <laughs> I'm excited that there's a laundry room in the unit. <laughs> Tell me this is who you are without telling me this is who you are. Oh, these are, these are shorter, so we'll put them down here. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, they're also so friggin' coordinated, like, oh, the Pisa thing, that probably should go, what, living room downstairs? Aww, got a little planty. Adorable. Why don't we put the Leaning Tower of Pisa up there with the plant? Oh, it's the same little painted rocks. Mm hmm. I wonder, since this was in my living room last time, I wonder if it got packed in the living room box for that reason. This is a Wii, right? Mm. Oh, we have two Wii remotes now. Cute. That's true. Kid toys also tend to, uh, well, multiply very quickly. Oh, it's my book. Nice. This is supposed to be... Well, it looks like, um, oh shoot, what's the name of that? What the heck is the name of that movie? Jake Gyllenhaal and the Rabbit. Why can't I think of the name of that movie? That's totally what that looks like, but the name of it is just, it's on the tip of my tongue, but it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> oh, well. Looks like a... What the heck is the name of that movie? It'll come to me at like 3 a.m. Sometimes I doubt your commitment to sparkle motion. I mentioned some disgusting things and inconveniences. That said I wouldn't trade it for anything. My daughter has filled a hole in my life I didn't even know was there. Oh, that's wonderful, Ryan. Yeah, there's something about, like, being in, you know, responsibility and, and care for a child that is pretty darn incredible, if I say so myself. Here's my controller. I'm gonna put the little Game Boy over there. I'm actually, like, trying to be organized for one. <laughs> Put this and make sure that they're all in the same. Oh, nuclear narwhals. Wait a minute. This is a tea kettle. That doesn't go there. That goes in a bedroom. Eight. No, it doesn't. It goes in a kitchen. That's not the right word. Kitchen. Here we go. Wow. This kitchen, man. This is freaking beautiful. My goodness. Let's be cute and have a little bit of plants in our kitchen.
Oh boy, here comes the, the real kicker. Which is where am I gonna put everything? We're probably gonna do this somewhat similar to the way I do this in real life. A globe, huh? Probably goes in an office of some kind. Oh. Well, let's see. Oh, there's my, my prize ribbons. Oh, a little, a little witch figure, huh? All my books. Oh, all my sketchbooks too. Probably won't let me keep it there, but I keep my trash can under my desk so that it's actually where I need it to be when I have to use it. Let's put... Yeah, there we go. My computer monitor. I need to be over there. Computer tower. Still one of the biggest boxes. Oh, I wonder if, uh, if Piggy became something other people liked, too. Or if I made, like, other characters that people enjoyed. That could be a thing. Here's my laptop. Newton Cradle. That's still there. Oh, I didn't even realize that was a standing desk. Damn. That's good. Oh, what's this? Oh, we finally explained the chicken obsession a little bit. Looks like. Oh, <laughs> I got the carpal tunnel going. Needed to get that brace Printer paper, sketchbook, more drawings. It's our collection of random wires. Every office has one. I like that it makes the ukulele. You can hear the strings, the little like noise that they make when you pick it up and put it down. <laughs> My lava lamp. Looking good and feeling groovy. my d20 and my mini oh I did write a book peep that what if I okay they're not gonna like this I bet but what if I put it in the little baby room here you go now read the book of your life little little toys actually Oh, no, it should go the other way. You need the kid to have something to keep their hands out of their diaper. 
Um, where was I? Oh yeah, the office. Okay. Oh, I have another copy. Cool. Oh, I have a lot of copies. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. I did it. I became a writer. How cool is that? Promotional posters. How neat. And my diploma. Never to be hidden away again. Whoa, all right. Uh, big old boy. Drawing tablet wise. Rooms unpacked. I love the look of that. That's awesome. Oh, it's a little miniature bathroom. Cute. Have some soap. Little thing of potpourri. Little thing of cleaner. Oh, wait. <laughs> I got a toilet paper sticker. Gotta flush them all. Oh my goodness. I am so darn proud of myself for that. Should I be? Maybe not. Who can truly say if I should be proud of myself for flushing every toilet? But I sure do feel proud of myself. Uh, what do we have still to unpack? The front entryway, okay. Oh, nice. That's cute. Oh, we went somewhere else. We've got elephants now. Maybe we went to, like, India. The main place to see elephants. Got some new tennis shoes. It's about darn time, really. These look like slippers. Yeah. I guess they could go down here, but they probably need to go in the bedroom. Here it is. Oh, more shoes. More shoes. All right. Let's put these in here. These are slippers, so they will go to the bedroom. Which of course is all the way upstairs. <laughs> Isn't this just like packing in real life? I gotta go all the way downstairs to get the one thing I came here for. candle burner. Aww. <laughs> My 
little chicks. Oh, picture of a horse, huh? Well, why shouldn't I have a picture of a horse over the head of my bed? You can't tell me what to do. I saw somebody that had like recreated all of this uh, within The Sims, and I thought that was actually pretty neat. Oh, plant, headphones. Is there a closet? Yeah. These walkie-talkie thingies still. Incense burner. having the incense burn in here. In the bedroom. Oh, there's one with a little bow tie. This is just gonna be a weird like chicken shrine that we have going on. You know, I'm gonna put these back here and we'll leave these up there. Oh, that one has sunglasses. Oh, that's my printer. That does not belong in the bedroom. I was kind of wondering when that would show up in the office. Can you put the drawing tablet on the easel? I don't think so. No, that is a no-go. Too big there too. Can this go here? Nope. Also nope. Hold on a second. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, I think that works out all right. Like watching people getting little snippets of their lives and clues to who they are. I know. Like for a silent game, this is so awesome. I'm actually curious, like, what is the uh, save game state for this? Like, do you have to finish the whole thing or the whole level in a single go? Uh, this should go down towards the entryway. Let me just say, I'm feeling kind of seen with that walking stick there. Uh, more games. Hey, it's Cthulhu Head. Plant. Look, I'm not ready for this story to break me when, like, invariably they all become super old and, like, reach the end of their lives together. It's gonna make me cry, probably. But that's okay. Jubble! God, we have so many video game things now. Not enough room for all of them. Azores. Exposure. Let's see. Yeah.
There's my my blanket. That's got to be Jaws down there, right? Yeah. Yeah. That is a good point. The walkie-talkies might be an accessibility tool. I don't think it's a baby monitor though, just because we saw them show up in the game before the baby did. Okay, let's keep going with the kitchen here. We got a rice cooker. This one belonged to uh, Cassie, I think we're calling her. I don't know what we're calling the main character of this. I haven't really decided. I'm just gonna take this out and worry about organizing everything later. Huh? Oh. Cups, 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 cups. Coffee. More coffee stuff. Uh, do we have like a dining room? We do! Sweet. Oh, this is super cool. Hold on one second. Is it all resume or start over? Do I have to like replay the level? I'm gonna assume that I would have to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this level and probably wrap up the stream. Let's go here, put up the little ticket shadow box. Okay. Oh, there are the D&D &D books. Yes, we know that this needs to be the game room now, right? Like, that's gotta happen. It just does. Oh, look at us. Whoop, that goes in the kitchen. Eventually. All right, so I think we're definitely, yeah, gonna want our cups somewhere like this. I also like how we seem to be just reusing all of the boxes. Aww, college friends are there. We're smooching in that one, cute. How's a Jewish son of metal gamer? Honestly, though, I do feel called out because I did not know that that was going to be the case in this game, and it seems like it very much is. Which is funny because I wasn't expecting that. Ah. Have you ever been so called out by a video game? Actually, nah. Mugs are gonna go over here. Well, we got our sponges already. Oh cool, we actually learned how to uh, open and close things at the same time. The bus. The bus should go here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it really does lose the effect a little bit. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay, there's another glass. I really wish it would let me... I wonder if there's going to be, like, a free play version of this. Where you just get to, um... Design the house however it is you want. 
These whales are still so free and cute. I love them. Can I put them in here? I can. Another goblet. All right, seems like we should maybe try to start fitting some of this stuff. Oh, yes, a spice rack. Good investment. Good investment, Anna and Cassie. Oh, and look, we can now fit, like, multiple things on the, on the stove top. That's a new, that's a new plus. Hmm. You do the thing where you put the, no, okay. I was like, can you do the thing where you put the baking dishes, like, underneath the stove? Like an under stove drawer. That's toilet paper. Um, that bathroom doesn't need toilet paper. Is there one upstairs need toilet paper? Or, yep. Oh, it's a rubber ducky. What is this? It looks like a thing of bath toys for like a kid maybe? Gotta go on top of the toilet tank. Just like before. Just like before. It's toilet tank once more. Gotta get all my vitamins. My medicines, my band-aids. And it's become very important when you have little kids. Although, that's a lot of... All right, there's some tissues. Actually, you know what? Maybe the tissues should go on top of the toilet tank. It's not a bad idea. we go. Got a scrubby slash loofah. Oh, this is detergent. Right. That makes more sense. Got some antacids. Got some... Looks like lotion. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, is it maybe just that you heard it on the stream yesterday? I know that seems like kind of an obvious answer to your question, but we're gonna put the roach spray downstairs in the kitchen. And there's some paper towels. Sure wish I could get like a paper towel uh, holder for this person's house. That'd be nice. Colander. Goes up on top of the fridge as before. It's 
Sounds like a theme that would be played in a town. Yeah, kind of like a RPG feel to it. I agree. A little tea towel for us. Oh, another one. Wait, let's do one of both. There we go. Cheese grater. Okay, this guy can go up here. Mm, oh, trash, trash can liners. You know how that when you move someplace, there's only ever the one logical place to put a trash can. And we found it for this this sweet little fictional family. We found their, their one logical place. Microwave. We'll put you. Ugh. Um, it's a path that I'm already thinking about. What 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 is the deal with the angles on this kitchen? More magnets. A couple more magnets. Ah uh, yes, the weird vegetable peeler type looking thing that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me visually, but whatever. rack can go back there with the mortar and pestle mortar and pestle thank goodness for these cookie cutters a long one. Whoops. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's our Hanukkah candles. Dish brush. Dish brush? What am I going to do with dish brush? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, cute oven mitts got another baking tray and a third it's parchment paper cool oh did we get a second bottle of roach killer a cleaner looks like we did Ooh. Aw. The joy of putting the magnets on another side of the fridge. Coffee pot. Yeah. Oh. A knife block. <laughs> well, excuse me. Guess we got a little fancy. These are multiple water bottles. We love to see that. Cool. All right. Let us do this thing. I'm gonna put our water bottles up here with our Hanukkah candles. Okay, that's not too bad. Where's our knife though? 
We always have a big knife that I still haven't seen yet. There we go. Kitchen looking nice and pretty. I love that. I love that for us. More whales! Another goblet. There you go. Oh, salt and pepper shakers. These look like they could be, you know, a dining room salt and pepper shaker. Uh, that goes in the office. Ugh. This office is so friggin' packed. Ooh. It's the, like, how-to baby books. Along with the D&D &D books. And some coasters. And my wife's laptop. Oh. our like front doorway hmm. I'm actually going to nope that won't work will it random trophy that I still don't really know what it's for. Anti-hero is gonna go in the office. Oh. Oh, we still have some of the same stuffed animals. There's the missing chicken. Look at that. We're sharing lamps. You can have my alarm clock, dear. Since it really seems like I work from home. Oh, we do yoga together. Adorable. Let's put our purses together. Mm, another chick. Getting a little crowded there on that shelf, little guy. Oh! That's not gonna work, is it? We need a shelf. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, the sketchbook we wanna put in the office, most likely. Yeah. More book stuff. More sketchbook things, placemats. I wonder if, nope, okay, that answers that question. Uh, 
Okay. Now let's go to the living room and grab that extra coaster. Ah! Toaster. Hi, toaster. There you go. Hang out there for a little while. Awesome. Um, I don't remember where the laptop went in the last one. So I'm going to take it to the living room and put it here. And then if they don't like that, well, too bad. No, just kidding. Uh, looks like we're good downstairs. The upstairs bathroom and closet still need some unpacking. Okay. So laundry basket. Huh. Well, gonna have to find a nice home for you. Aha, there we go. Plenty of toilet paper. Bath mat, like a little hazardous mop bucket, toothbrush, or toothbrush, toilet brush. Oh, it's the soil for my plants. First aid kit. Ooh, fancy laundry hamper, I suppose. how this is looking. I really do. Okay, time to unpack the closet, and then I think that's it for this level. This will be fun. Wait a minute. I think maybe the hanger stuff should go down here. Yeah. Okay, that's got to be a welcome to Night Vale thing, right? Thank you, Falls a Stretch. Very important. And the hydrate. Okay. Part of me is like, let's make the clo clothes separate and decides. That'll be cute. That'll be like a fun, can I remember whose thing this came from? Probably not. I mean, yeah, that's a Cassie shirt. Cassie dress. Oh. Cassie was the cosplayer. Cassie was the cosplayer from the first department after college. Holy shit. This is an item that we haven't seen since then. Oh my freaking God. Wow. I can't believe this. Cassie was... Wow. Wow. 
Wow. That is incredible. Good job, game devs. Jesus. You got me with that one. That was amazing. Fancy backpack. <laughs> More underwear. Luggage. It's another thing when it's like, yep, you're in your thirties, you've got some more dedicated. <laughs> You've got storage space dedicated to luggage. Here we go. Here we go. That's much better. Okay, pajamas. Pajamas go under the pillow, as we have established. Ooh, a little pop-up vanity. Cute. I am not keeping track of whose underwear is whose at this point in the game, so if I if I make that a mistake, oh well. They're wife and wife, they can figure it out. I've arbitrarily decided that this is Cassie's side, so this is where the yoga pants are gonna go. And I think the shorts were Cassie's, and the jeans are <laughs> the jeans are Anna's, which is still weird to say. All right. Here we go. Oh, this is from the bathroom. This isn't a blanket. This goes in here. Aha. Yeah, they'll figure out the underwear. If for no other reason, then I'm pretty sure they're not, like, exactly the same size. Coat. Coat, coat, coat. Nope. There we go. The little jewelry box thing. Put, yes. Okay. I'm, you know, I might not actually, oh boy, the thick plottons, 
the underwear challenge is growing. All right, let's see. All righty. Let's hang up those trousers. Can I, whoop. Nope, that's too big. That's okay, we'll just get through all of the underwear. The underwear is the cookie cutters of the bedroom, which I realize, <laughs> which I realize now that I say it, uh, is a sentence that only makes sense if you've been watching me play the rest of this game. But it is indeed a factual statement. Oh, this is kind of cool. I think that the lighting is dynamic in this level. Gender fluid puff, hello. Welcome on into the stream. Thank you for joining us. We're just doing some, some unpacking. Oh, look, more perfume. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we have a safe now. Ooh, we got fancy. Real fancy. Let's see. Can I come up? There we go. Okay. Jewelry cabinet here. We'll put the t-shirts there. Uh, baseball cap can go there for now. Put you up there. All right, little mending kits. Um, are you happy if you're not on the floor? Yes, you are. There we go. That looks somewhat nicer. One unused pants hanger on the top towards the right. Oh, cool. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, if that becomes necessary, which it might. What's wrong in the bedroom? Everything. Okay. If I remember correctly, the caboodle goes in the office, I think. Oh, doesn't like that the easel is on the floor. Yeah, me neither. There we go, that'll work. Yeah. in here. Anything? Oh, the dining room's fine. It's the kitchen. Oh, boy. All right. Okay. Um, this can't be there. Oh, because this is electric. Does it need to go there? Uh, well, that's really weird and out of the way. But whatever, if you say so. Oven mitts. Actually, hold on. Can we fit oven mitts in that drawer? So I feel like, what if we put the knives up here? No, that seems a bit ridiculous. The egg timer can't go on the stovetop now for some inexplicable reason. Yeah, you know what? Ain't too pretty, but I can deal with that. The bathroom. Ah, this air freshener. Let's put you up there. Okay. Upstairs, though, is a mess. Oh, the baby room. Everything! Alright, so they didn't like that I gave the baby reading material. First of all, rude. How else is a baby gonna learn to read? 
I ask you. Nothing like storing knives overhead, I know, in a very un uncharacteristic move for me. I have moved the knives to a place where it makes no darn sense for them to be. Hooray! And true to form, the baby room is messy and they do not care because this is a game. Aww. My god, I love this game so much. We're so looking forward to meeting you. Okay, so they haven't had the baby yet. Look, I appreciate the fact that this game went out of its way to do some, like, gender-neutral clothing for the baby. Because, like, all the clothes, or all of the coloring and stuff in the nursery is very much like, hey, this baby can be whatever gender they want it to be. I like that. Let's watch our time lapse. This one will be a while, because this is the biggest level yet. This was so much fun. <laughs> watch me play with blocks for like 45 minutes. You know, something also that I appreciate that this game does is that while it seems like it's been fun hanging out with you too, Ryan, thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Um, is that while it seems like the character that we're calling Anna in this is pretty young, um, she's dealing with some sort of like chronic pain disability thing something like that you know the one with the, the walking stick and like the little carpal tunnel thing and I'm like yeah you know what I appreciate that because as somebody who is myself pretty young and uses some mobility aids that make people think are like more designed for old people you know I appreciate seeing that because that's my life <laughs> and I am not old shocking I know I'm not exactly gray-haired over here. Well, at least not majority gray hair. <laughs> oh, look at her cute little front entrance way. It's adorable. <laughs> the chickens. kitchen level here was tricky. It's like when you get these shelves that are very awkwardly shaped. So not only do we have a Jewish story here, we have a queer story and we have a disability story. And I'm pretty sure that the main character is me because the resemblance is uncanny and it's really messing with my head. Gotta love me, like, doing the thing I would never do in real life and putting all of the kitchen utensils on the floor. It's like, oh, cool. You just need to instantly rewash everything. <laughs> I think the lighting was dynamic in this level. I think the sun had set by the time I finished unpacking. Let's see if I remember that correctly. I could be wrong though. I did finish in the closet and that took a little while. It does look like the sun's setting, right? Right? But this, for some reason, the clothes is very satisfying. Thank you. 
and here it comes, more underwear. The theme of this game. <laughs> Knives way up out of reach. Yay! We did it! Awesome. Well, that was super, super fun. Oh, is this the end? Because previously we always had. It might be. Oh, that was the end! That was the last level! Oh, how charming. I adored that. The moving truck pulls up. There's a knock on the door. Now all your stuff is here. In boxes on the floor. You open up the All box. these are, there this is exactly so how I uh, to took pictures of all of the I rooms. I open up my heart. <laughs> this is now a home for two. That was really fun. I really enjoyed getting to play this. It's a pretty short game too, five hours about to beat, maybe four. Now I'm kind of curious what we would get for all the different achievements because there's a buttload of hidden achievements in here that I didn't get to see all of. Really small team that worked on this too. I'm so glad that they got the support both from their government and Humble Studio. Nymeria. Oh, post credit scene. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That was so beautiful. Wow. Well, um. In case you didn't already know, I would definitely recommend that you play this game. Oh my god. That gave me goosebumps there at the end. Hmm. Because what an amazing story. I mean, I don't know, like, that hits me, that hits me deep in the millennial feels for sure. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. <sighs> well, thank you very much to everybody that is watching this. I appreciate all y'all for coming out and watching. Um, I think we're gonna go find somebody to raid now. Who's still alive? Spoopa Troopa. Oh no! Hey, Chris. Unfortunately, we are coming to a close. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, you know, if you wanna watch me cry about this, I am gonna upload the video to YouTube in a little bit. 
Thank you so much for stopping by, though. Uh, there's, like, Twitch rules about how long it can be, so it's probably going to be another week before I upload this. But it'll be on YouTube. <laughs> I feel so bad being like, hi, goodbye, but... I did have a really good stream. Thank you so much. And I hope that you're doing well as well. I think we're gonna go show some love to our friend Nathan, the neon caster. Uh, Nathan's somebody that I know from TTRPG world and they do lots of really cool uh, VTuber stuff and they're on the Skydrax podcast and it's always a good time hanging out uh, with Nathan. So we're gonna go say hi there. Um, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see y'all next time. Take it easy.